The concept of hell, as depicted in the Bible, is a profound and thought-provoking subject that compels individuals to reflect on the nature of the afterlife. Within the sacred pages of biblical narratives, hell emerges as a dreaded place, often characterized by the vivid imagery of fire and suffering. Thus, them pervades the scriptures, offering a readers a glimpse into a realm of eternal punishment that raises fundamental questions about human existence and spirituality. In the following text, we will embark on a thorough exploration of the biblical portrayal of hell, dissecting its origins, descriptions, and the weighty consequences it holds for those considered lost. Stay till the end to pray together. To begin our journey, we must first unravel the linguistic roots of the term hell. Surprisingly, the word itself finds its origins in the Greek translation of the Hebrew term for the Valley of Hinnom a place beyond the walls of Jerusalem with a dark history associated with a sinister cult and human sacrifices. Understanding the linguistic connections provides a crucial backdrop for delving deeper into the historical context that shaped the concept of hell within biblical narratives. One of the staggering revelations regarding hell unfolds in the book of Revelation, specifically in chapters 20, 13-15. Here the narrative unveils a symbolic yet powerful tale of death and Hades being cast into the lake of fire, symbolizing the second death. This revelation prompts contemplation about the nature of eternal punishment and the profound consequences awaiting those deemed lost. The biblical descriptions of hell are not confined to a single passage. Instead, they are scattered across various scriptures, offering readers diverse perspectives on this enigmatic realm. The somber and evocative language used in these passages paints a vivid picture of the anguish and suffering that characterize hell. As we navigate through these descriptions, we aim to provide a comprehensive understanding of the diverse facets that contribute to the biblical portrayal of hell. The consequences associated with hell are weighty and extend beyond mere punishment. The idea of eternal separation from the divine is a recurring theme emphasizing the gravity of the choices made during one's earthly existence. The implications of being deemed lost in the biblical context carry a profound weight, and exploring these consequences sheds light on the moral and spiritual dimensions embedded in the concept of hell. The etymology of the word hell reveals intriguing connections to the historical and cultural context of the Valley of Hinnom. This valley, situated beyond the protective walls of Jerusalem, carries a dark legacy associated with the sinister Moloch cult and the disturbing practice of human sacrifices. The Greek translation of the Hebrew term for this valley provides the linguistic foundation for the concept of hell. The Valley of Hinnom served a macabre purpose as a perpetual dumping ground for garbage and waste, where incessant fires consumed the refuse. This continuous burning created an environment marked by perpetual flames and proliferating worms. Over time, this condemned place became a powerful and symbolic representation of the fate awaiting the lost souls. The imagery of fire and decay woven into the valley's history contributed to the vivid symbolism associated with the term hell. In the book of Revelation, specifically in chapters 20, 13 to 15, the Bible unfolds a staggering and apocalyptic tale. Here, death and Hades, symbolic entities representing mortality, and the realm of the dead, are cast into the lake of fire. This lake, described as the second death, represents the ultimate fate for those whose names are absent from the book of life. The symbolism is potent and evocative, painting a vivid picture of a terrifying fate awaiting those deemed lost to be cast into the fiery abyss. The concept of the lake of fire serves as a metaphorical representation of the ultimate separation from divine grace and the consequences of a life lived in opposition to the divine will. The fiery imagery conveys a sense of eternal punishment and the severity of the consequences for those who are not inscribed in the Book of Life. Delving into the origins and symbolism of the word hell unveils a rich tapestry of historical, cultural, and theological significance. It connects linguistic roots to the ominous history of the Valley of Hinnom and illustrates how biblical narratives, particularly in Revelation, use powerful symbolism to convey profound truths about the fate of the lost. This exploration sets the stage for a deeper understanding of the multifaceted nature of hell within the broader context of biblical teachings. 
the biblical narrative weaves a stark and unyielding depiction of eternal punishment, a theme that resonates throughout the scriptures. In Revelation 2010, a vivid portrayal unfolds, describing the torment awaiting those consigned to the lake of fire. This symbolic and dreadful place becomes the eternal abode for the deceiver, the beast, and the false prophet, where they will endure unending torment day and night. The repetition of the phrase forever and ever underscores the gravity of this vision, emphasizing the perpetual nature of the suffering that awaits. Those deem it deserving of eternal punishment. The imagery painted in Revelation is haunting, presenting a scene of relentless agony that transcends the boundaries of time itself. The use of such evocative language serves to impress upon the reader the severity and permanence of the consequences associated with eternal punishment. The biblical narrative leaves no room for ambiguity, emphasizing the unending nature of the torment in the lake of fire. This dire vision of eternal punishment is not confined to the book of Revelation alone. Jesus himself reinforces this haunting image in Mark 9, 43. In a stark warning, Jesus declares that it is preferable to make sacrifices and enter into the embrace of eternal life than to face the unquenchable fear of hell. The term unquenchable fire conveys a sense of a fire that cannot be extinguished, emphasizing the enduring and everlasting nature of the consequences awaiting those who choose a path contrary to life in communion with the divine. The biblical narrative's unambiguous language and repeated emphasis on the eternal nature of punishment underscore the gravity of the choices individuals face. The stark contrast between the promise of eternal life and the unquenchable fire of hell serves as a powerful moral lesson. It calls upon believers to heed the warnings embedded in these teachings, urging them to make choices aligned with the path of righteousness and salvation. In essence, the biblical narrative paints a relentless and haunting portrait of eternal punishment, using powerful and evocative language to emphasize its everlasting nature. The warnings issued in Revelation and reinforced by Jesus in Mark serve as a moral compass, guiding believers to consider the eternal consequences of their actions. The choice between the promise of eternal life and the unquenchable fire of hell becomes a pivotal moment in the narrative of human existence, challenging individuals to align their lives with the divine will to avoid the dire consequences of eternal separation from the divine. Matthew 8.12 paints a vivid and haunting picture of hell, portraying it as a realm shrouded in darkness and permeated by despair. In this poignant passage, the condemned souls are condemned to experience weeping and gnashing of teeth, physical manifestations of the profound sadness and hopelessness that characterize their existence. As we delve into this chapter, we confront the chilling reality of hell and explore the depths of the terror hidden within its confines. The choice of darkness as a metaphor for hell is significant. It goes beyond the absence of light. It signifies a spiritual and emotional void, a place where no flicker of hope can penetrate. Imagine a realm so dark that visibility is non-existent, and all that remains are sounds of profound sadness echoing through the abyss. The use of darkness in this context serves to emphasize the isolation and desolation experienced by the souls condemned to hell. The weeping and gnashing of teeth, mentioned in Matthew 8.12, add layers of emotional intensity to the depicting of hell. Weeping signifies an inconsolable sorrow, a ceaseless expression of grief that echoes through the corridors of this despair-ridden realm. On the other hand, Gnashing of teeth implies a visceral and anguished response to the hopelessness that envelops the condemned. Together, these manifestations paint a chilling picture of the eternal anguish awaiting those consigned to the darkness of hell. This chapter aims to explore the multifaceted terror hidden within hell, emphasizing the emotional toll exacted on its inhabitants. The loneliness that emerges as a poignant aspect of this realm is particularly noteworthy. Hell is not merely a physical space of torment. It is a place of profound separation from the love and mercy of God. The condemned souls find themselves utterly isolated, cut off from the divine presence that offers solace and redemption. 
The concept of loneliness in hell extends beyond the absence of companionship. It represents a complete and irreversible separation from the source of unconditional love and mercy. As described in 2 Thessalonians 1, hell presents the distressing prospect of suffering the penalty of eternal destruction, removed from the presence of the Lord and the glory of His power. This separation is a form of divine justice grounded in love, highlighting the consequence of rejecting the divine embrace that offers comfort and salvation. Within the grim backdrop of the biblical depiction of hell, a ray of hope emerges as Jesus, the central figure of Christianity, addresses the harrowing reality and offers a perspective on salvation through sacrifice. In this chapter we explore the dual perspective presented by Jesus regarding the kingdom of God, shedding light on the significance of sacrifice as a means to avoid the terrifying fate of hell. The emphasis here is not solely on the promised reward but also on the profound understanding of the price one must be willing to pay for eternal salvation. Mark 9.43 serves as a poignant reminder of the weightiness of the choices one makes in the face of the impending reality of hell. Jesus, in his teachings, does not shy away from addressing the consequences of neglecting the path to righteousness. The mention of entering life with a sacrifice rather than facing the unquenchable fire of hell underscores the gravity of the decisions individuals must confront. It is a stark juxtaposition urging believers to consider the cost of salvation and the sacrifices required to secure a place in the kingdom of God. The concept of sacrifice, as illuminated by Jesus, transcends mere ritualistic offerings. It delves into the essence of making conscious and intentional choices aligned with the divine will. Sacrifice becomes a powerful vehicle for believers to navigate the complexities of life and the moral dilemmas that shape their destinies. The chapter unfolds this intricate tapestry of sacrifice, exploring the depths of commitment and devotion required to steer clear of the impending doom described in biblical narratives. In the broader context, the price of sacrifice involves relinquishing worldly desires and embracing a life guided by spiritual principles. It entails a conscious departure from self-indulgence and a willingness to prioritize the divine over the temporal. Jesus, through his teachings, challenges believers to evaluate their priorities and consider the eternal consequences of their actions. The chapter delves into the transformative power of sacrifice, highlighting its role not only as a means of avoiding hell, but also as a pathway to spiritual growth and communion with the divine. As readers navigate through the insights provided by Jesus in Mark 9.43, they are invited to reflect on their own lives and the sacrifices necessary for a meaningful connection with the divine. The chapter aims to foster a deeper understanding of the intertwined concepts of sacrifice and salvation, unraveling the layers of meaning embedded in the teachings of Jesus. It serves as a moral guide, urging individuals to weigh the cost of their choices and embrace the transformative power of sacrifice as they navigate the intricate journey towards the kingdom of God. As we delve deeper into the profound intricacies of the biblical portrayal of hell, it becomes evident that this dreaded realm is not merely a site of physical torment, but a complex and multifaceted landscape where the soul undergoes a tumultuous journey. This chapter endeavors to unravel the layers of meaning embedded in the concept of hell, exploring the storm of separation from God, the futile echoes of repentance, and the haunting recollection of lost opportunities. The prevailing notion of hell often conjures images of physical suffering and eternal punishment. However, a nuanced understanding reveals that hell is not solely a place of torment. It is a state where the soul grapples with the consequences of its choices. This chapter delves into the concept of divine justice, emphasizing that the destruction experienced in hell is not synonymous with annihilation. Instead, it signifies a profound loss of purpose and well-being a state where the soul finds itself severed from the divine connection that imbues life with meaning. In exploring the idea of divine justice grounded in love, it becomes crucial to recognize that the punitive aspects of hell are not arbitrary but rooted in the fundamental principles of righteousness and moral order. God's justice, though severe in its consequences, is depicted as an expression of love, a call for accountability, and an affirmation of the sanctity of divine principles. 
The chapter encourages readers to grapple with the tension between justice and love, understanding that the consequences in hell are not driven by capriciousness, but by the necessity of upholding a moral universe. An intriguing parallel emerges as the chapter draws upon the metaphor of wineskins mentioned by Jesus in Luke 5-37. These wineskins, though destroyed, continue to exist, having lost their purpose. Similarly, hell is portrayed as a realm where the soul, once vibrant and purposeful, undergoes a transformative loss. It is not an obliteration but a profound alteration in the essence of being a state of existence where the soul grapples with the consequences of its choices and the echoes of opportunities forever lost. The concept of hell, as illuminated by the teachings of Jesus, transcends the traditional imagery of punishment and fire. It becomes a poignant exploration of the soul's journey, navigating the storms of separation, futile repentance, and the haunting recollection of lost opportunities. The chapter urges readers to contemplate the deeper implications of divine justice, recognizing the intricate interplay between love and accountability within the biblical narrative. Hell, in this nuanced understanding, invites reflection on the purpose of existence and the transformative power embedded in the divine principles that govern the moral fabric of the universe. In the shadow of the ominous portrayal of hell, a resounding counterpoint emerges from the heart of the gospel a message of love and redemption that transcends the depths of despair. This chapter embarks on an exploration of the transformative narrative woven by the gospel, emphasizing the redemptive grace of Christ and portraying God as a refuge for those who seek solace in His divine embrace. John 3.16 stands as a beacon within the biblical landscape, illuminating the path to salvation through an unparalleled demonstration of divine love. At its core, this verse encapsulates the essence of the gospel, showcasing God's boundless love by offering Jesus as a sacrificial means for the salvation of humanity. This chapter delves into the profound implications of this sacrificial act, unraveling the layers of redemptive grace that emanate from God's compassionate heart. The concept of God as a refuge takes center stage, offering solace and shelter to those who choose to draw near. In the face of the terror associated with hell, the gospel paints a contrasting image of God, a benevolent and merciful deity ready to embrace and redeem those who turn to him in repentance. This chapter invites readers to contemplate the reassuring notion of God as a refuge, a source of comfort and salvation for those who seek shelter in the shadow of divine love. Divine patience emerges as a recurring theme, extending beyond a mere delay and fulfilling promises. It is portrayed as a genuine desire on the part of God that none should perish, offering a prolonged opportunity for repentance and salvation. The narrative unfolds with parables that illustrate the compassionate heart of God, revealing a profound desire for humanity to turn away from the path of destruction and embrace the path of righteousness. Parables as powerful narrative tools serve to illustrate the compassionate heart of God. They become poignant invitations to repentance urging individuals to recognize the opportunity for transformation and redemption. In this chapter, readers are encouraged to engage with these parables, understanding them not as mere moral lessons, but as heartfelt expressions of God's longing for the salvation of every soul. The exploration of the gospel's message of love and redemption goes beyond a theological discourse. It invites readers to intimately connect with the compassionate heart of God. In a world fraught with fear and the looming specter of hell, the gospel unfolds as a narrative of hope and grace. It urges individuals to consider the redemptive power of divine love, the refuge offered in God's embrace, and the enduring patience that extends the opportunity for repentance. As we embark on an exploration of the profound tapestry of human existence, this chapter unravels the dual nature encapsulated by the contrasting realms of heaven and hell. Each serves as a poignant reminder of the choices that define our destinies, shaping the narrative of our existence beyond the temporal confines of earthly life. The duality of human existence, portrayed by heaven and hell, invites contemplation on the consequences of rejecting God and the eternal joy that beckons believers in His divine presence. Hell, as depicted in various biblical narratives, stands as a stark warning an ominous consequence awaiting those who choose to turn away from the divine path. 
It is a realm of eternal punishment, a place where the consequences of rejecting God unfold in a symphony of torment and despair. This chapter encourages readers to grapple with the gravity of this warning, recognizing it not as a mere deterrent but as a profound illustration of the choices that shape our spiritual destinies. In contrast, heaven emerges as a beacon of hope and eternal joy, a realm where believers are invited to bask in the divine presence of God. Ephesians 2.8 serves as a guiding light, emphasizing the inclusivity of the divine invitation. This exploration of Ephesians 2.8 goes beyond a mere theological analysis. It invites readers to contemplate the profound inclusivity of God's grace, extending to all, regardless of their past. The narrative unfolds as a testament to the boundless love and mercy that characterizes the divine invitation, transcending the limitations of human shortcomings. The heart of this chapter lies in the recognition that human existence is a story of choices, love, and redemption. Each individual becomes a protagonist, holding the power to carve their eternal destiny through the choices they make. The dichotomy between heaven and hell underscores the moral agency inherent in every decision, urging believers to navigate the complexities of life with a keen awareness of the consequences that echo into eternity. The narrative of choices becomes a central theme, emphasizing that the tapestry of our existence is woven through the threads of decisions made in the crucible of earthly life. The chapter urges readers to reflect on the significance of their choices, recognizing that each decision contributes to the unfolding story of their eternal destiny. In this profound exploration, human agency is celebrated as individuals navigate the dual realms of heaven and hell charting their course in the narrative of existence. In the intricate fabric of human curiosity, the realm of the unknown holds a particular allure, especially when it comes to a profound and eternal topic like hell. This chapter delves into the inherent human inclination toward curiosity, recognizing the natural inclination to seek understanding about the mysteries beyond hell. However, it advocates for a shift in focus, a redirection of attention from the often fear-inducing descriptions of hell toward the redemptive salvation offered by Jesus. The chapter unfolds as an exploration of the human psyche, acknowledging the innate desire to unravel the mysteries that shroud the concept of hell. It recognizes the centuries-old fascination with the afterlife, fueled by the perpetual human quest for answers to existential questions. The narrative encourages readers to embrace the inquisitive nature that propels them toward deeper contemplation about the unknown facets of the spiritual realm. Rather than fixating solely on the descriptions of hell, the chapter prompts a recalibration of focus toward the transformative narrative of salvation embedded in the teachings of Jesus. It advocates for a holistic understanding of the gospel, one that transcends the dichotomy of heaven and hell. The beauty of the gospel, as this chapter underscores, lies not merely in its portrayal of the contrasting destinies, but in the constant promise of a divine love that challenges human comprehension. The narrative unfolds as an invitation to explore the intricate interplay between the mysteries of hell and the redemptive love offered by Jesus. It encourages readers to navigate beyond the surface-level descriptions of torment and punishment and delve into the depths of divine grace. The chapter proposes that the gospel, as a sacred narrative, weaves a story that challenges and stretches the limits of human understanding, inviting individuals to grapple with the profound mysteries that transcend earthly comprehension. In contemplating the mysteries beyond hell, the chapter serves as a guide, urging readers to approach the theological concept with a nuanced perspective. It acknowledges the fear-inducing nature of hell, but positions it within the broader context of a narrative that extends an invitation to salvation. The beauty lies not just in the stark contrast between heaven and hell, but in the relentless love that pursues humanity, despite its inherent flaws. As readers navigate the exploration of mysteries, they are encouraged to embrace the paradoxical nature of the gospel, a narrative that presents both the terror of hell and the unfathomable love of God. The chapter concludes by underscoring that the pursuit of understanding should be complemented by an acceptance of the divine love that surpasses human comprehension. In this journey of exploration, 
the narrative extends an invitation for readers to grapple with the complexities of faith, acknowledging that the mysteries beyond hell are but one facet of a grander narrative that unfolds within the vast expanse of divine love. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you with a grateful heart, acknowledging your sovereignty and the love you pour upon us each day. Thank you for the gift of life, for the breath in my lungs, and for the countless blessings you bestow upon me. In this moment of prayer, I seek your guidance and wisdom. Illuminate my path with your light and grant me the discernment to make choices that align with your will. May your peace fill my heart, dispelling any anxiety or fear that may linger within. Lord, I lift up to you the concerns and joys of my life. Hear my prayers for those in need, and may your healing touch be upon them. Grant strength to the weak, comfort to the grieving, and hope to those facing challenges. Forgive me for my shortcomings and help me to grow in grace each day. Create in me a heart of compassion, kindness, and love. May your Holy Spirit empower me to walk in righteousness and to be a beacon of your light in the world. I entrust my plans and aspirations into your hands, acknowledging that your ways are higher than mine. Align my desires with your purpose and may everything I do bring glory to your name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.